So I'm at Mongkapi in Hopi land, Mongkapi village. I don't know if you can hear it, but the kids, you can hear the kids' voices from down. In the village, we went to a Katsina dance for the rain. And today it's filled up. It was absolutely clear yesterday. In the sky, nothing. And now all the way to the east, it's all dark clouds and sky. So the topic I felt, I felt a word this morning about one of the reasons why we're, for the full spectrum human, what's changing is this, I was watching some movie about yogis and I've had several lifetimes as a yogi, asanas, caves, kundalini yoga, kriya yogas, all that stuff, and I still do kriya yoga this lifetime. But what's shifted from the last few thousand years when there was such a level of darkness in the sense of on the earth there's not a collective awakening, there's basically a warlike state, a police state that's been on earth for the last, well really about certainly 6,000 years ever since the Anunnaki and all that Sumerian Mesopotamian stuff started. But what's shifted now so during those times when it's that level of darkness on earth, you need secret societies in the sense of monks, orders, religious orders, monasteries, and caves where you do your private awakening, your private yogic healing, your private enlightenment, and you don't do it publicly. What's shifting now into the full spectrum human is part of the fifth world. We were just a prophecy rock today. And the fourth world is the word, world we're in now. Same thing for the Hopi, the Mayas, the Incas, right? We're, we're shifting into the fifth world. In the fifth world, all the tribes of the earth, whether Bahanas, White Brother, or, uh, you know, different tribes around the, the, the world, you know, black people, brown people, red people, we don't really know what it's going to look like. One of the wet things that it's going to look like is people are coming off their mountains. Um, all what used to be monks, we were monks. I've had so many clients, it's strange, through the last five years or so, I've had a Buddhist nun who, 30-year Buddhist nun, meditative cloistered, eczema all over her body. How does she come out of that? What does she need to do? I've had Tibetan monks as clients that are confused about why they're being kicked out into the world or between lifetimes, and in this lifetime they're being brought back down out into the world. So the shift, the change is from cloistered, secret monasteries, you know, granite trap doors, no one can reach them, the renunciation. But during times of, quote, darkness in, in civilizations, across the galaxy for that matter, you have to have cloistered enlightenment societies. They have to renounce the world. They have to get away from the world. But, but the full spectrum human, the new awakening, this new is coming off the mountains. We're finally coming off the mountains and out into the world. And so it's a little bit confusing for beings and people that have been used to doing that for several lifetimes or for people like the Hopi that their traditions are coming to an end. The young people aren't following it or the Incas, you know, or all the tribes. So there's a new thing coming. The full spectrum human is we're going to mix the old traditions are coming back out into the world. And in a sense, someone like a Jesus, a Jeshua, Ben David, is an early sowing a seed of that, doing it in public, miracles in public, you know, being right there in front of everyone uh, doing it. So this time, part of the shift over into the full spectrum humans, we are meant to be all of it. We are coming off the mountains, bringing our, the awakening in public, and mass for millions of people, not everyone will go through the awakening in the next so whatever years it is. Um, the shift is here December 21st, 2012. That's the center point of the shift. It's not a magic pill, spiritual pill, wake up date for everyone, not at all. But there's a, a transition now into the fifth age, if you want, want to use those traditions, or into a new heaven, new earth. Uh, the awakened human, um, the full spectrum human, as I'm calling it here, where all our chakras, the full spectrum, from all the way the black chakra below the red chakra to the white chakra above the purple chakra, all the full spectrum 
rainbow. One of the tenets of that is back out into the world, daylight, eyes wide open prayer, no longer hiding away, no longer occult, hidden in the dark practices. All that's coming to light. So one of the symptoms of the full spectrum human is going to be that we bring this back out into the world. Beautiful place here. Sun is just setting here in Hopi land. And I'm standing above Mungkapi, Moankopi, Mungkapi. These fields, they, they haven't had any rain yet. We were just here for two days and I could feel on the way in yesterday that we're going to be, uh, rain will be coming. And yesterday we attended two dances, one at Kyoko, Kikotsumi, I can usually say that, K-Town, Kikotsumi, and Mungkapi here. We were down in the lower plaza watching some of the long hairs, the water dogs, and some of the other katsinas.